I, there's nothing we can do, Sam. That's, I know, I try to tell my wife when I go on the road. I was like, sweetie, blowjobs are not cheating. And she says, fine, give as many as you want. I'm like, oh. 12 years, not bad. I got you beat, actually. My first marriage lasted for 55. Oh, you guys don't get it. In a horrible relationship time, they measured in dog years. Especially if you're married to a bitch. She's in our women's laughing, but you must know her. It's okay, she's not here. It's not a full moon, she can't come out. Now, did you go to marriage counseling? Uh-huh. Now, here's a question. And you have to answer this one, because now we're friends. Did you like marriage counseling, or did you hate it? It was okay. It was okay. You know what that means? It was your husband's fucking fault. That's right. You hate marriage counseling, because you find out you're fucking up. My ex-wife hated it. So much she quit going. I kept going by myself because it's a fantastic way to spend a Friday afternoon drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, because all they do is ask questions. And they, my guy used to drive from Milton into Brampton and I'd be like, he'd be like, Jason, today I've got a couple of questions for you. <laughs> what? He was East Indian fella. He used to get mad and he goes, I have four vibes. You have one, can't make it work. <laughs> But sometimes he would ask deep, probing questions. Like one day he was like, Jason, there must have been something once you loved about your wife. And I said, yes. But after the ceremony, she stopped doing that. You're not clapping. You know I'm talking about blowjobs, right? Actually, the most telling question. One day he asked how I was. That day, I felt guilty. And he's like, why do you feel guilty? I said, because I was watching her walk across the road, and I kept hoping she'd get hit by a car. He said, oh, no, no, that is all right. That is normal. It is okay to hope. It is bad to plan. When I got married the second time around, there was two things that I was, two things on my list. When you first get married, there's a whole bunch of things you look for in a woman. Not after you fuck up. The second time is very simple. I wanted a girl who talked dirty and had no gag reflex. Look at all the guys looking at the girls they're with. Did she laugh? Did she laugh at that? Did she laugh? Nope, she didn't. She was like, shh. Bastard. Talking dirty is important. How long have you two been together? Five years. Five years. See how quick he got that? That deserves a blowjob. Am I not right? Yeah. She fucking hates me. <laughs> but here's the thing is, you want to keep a man happy? It's very simple. Talk dirty. When he's away, he's not cheating because on the phone, you're talking dirty. Right? But there's two very important components to talking dirty. You need to have the attitude, you need to have the vocabulary. <laughs> My ex-wife had the attitude, but she didn't have the vocabulary. And that makes it creepy. <laughs> it's hard to maintain a stiffy with, I want your wiener. <laughs> In my hoo-ha. You know what I found out? Hoo-ha? Not the bum. <laughs> She's awesome. She's got to put up with me. She actually quit smoking a little while ago. Smokers, clap if you have any energy. I didn't think so. They're out there. Ugh. But see, that's, have you tried to quit? Never. Yeah, what did you try? What was your method? No, I never tried yet. <laughs> okay, thank you. Dude, ventriloquism, you should do it. The way you threw your voice is fantastic. But see, here's the thing is my wife tried the patch, cold turkey, didn't work, went to a hypnotherapist. He hypnotized, no. No, she's not rich. Okay, that's good. Is this a first date with you two? <laughs> Might be the last. <laughs> she is so embarrassed. Like, stop it. Put your hand on his penis. You took your hand off his penis! 
That's okay, sir. If you keep talking during the show, I'm gonna come over there and wash your mouth out. With my cock. I don't have a lot of length, but I've got the girth of a chunky soup can. I'm up here. I think I just ruined lunch for her tomorrow. She's gonna go to the cupboard and go, Oh my god, cream of comedian! And slam it shut. So yeah, so she went, she, to quit smoking, she went to a hypnotherapist. He hypnotized her, now she doesn't smoke. But because he happens to be my best friend. <laughs> He threw in extras. Like, guys, now every time the hockey game is on, she loses the ability to speak. Every time I fart, she thinks it smells like potpourri. It's awkward when family comes over. The worst, the one I thought was the best, every time she sits on a mattress. She gets so uncontrollably horny. Must have sex immediately. Trouble is, she works at Leon's. Now the one thing... And now when you're with... Now how many guys in the room are actually with a, a more mature, seasoned woman? Hey, oh. Yeah, you're not supposed to say that. You, you Just be quiet, that's your cue. But you, you learn stuff, right? Is there, how big is the gap? Is she here? How big is... Now, how, how old? What's the difference? Not how big is her gap. We'll get to that later. How old is she? How much older is she than you? Five years. Five years, that's great. She probably knew some things and you were like, oh man, God, this is awesome, right? So here's a question. And ladies, I want you to be honest. If it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply. Is penis size important? Right here, okay, come on. But yeah, penis size is important. And look at him, he's like, fucking right it is. <laughs> All the other guys are like, why didn't you say anything? You said it was big. <laughs> but here's the thing I learned. The reason why I asked that question is because I learned a word. When I say this word, most of the guys in the room are going to have no idea what I'm talking about. The women are going to be thinking, oh my god, I can't believe he's going to talk about this. <laughs> the word is speculum. <laughs> Nobody woos speculum. <laughs> Guys, the speculum is a device used by a doctor during a gynecological exam. <laughs> Look familiar? <sighs> to warm it up. Quack, quack. Nice haircut. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't say that joke just so I could do bullshit ventriloquism. <laughs> the thing is, what amazed me is I did I only find out is that there were different sized speculums. Because there were different sized vaginas. I had no idea. Like everything we always hear is oh penis size, penis size. But the first thing that goes to my, I'm not a handy guy. So when I'm around the house, I always use a tape measure. And I've been in a doctor's office, I've never seen the tape measure. <laughs> so how do you eyeball? <laughs> the size of a vagina. Right? It's not so important just about penis size. What is truly important, everybody, is how two people fit together harmoniously as one. Right. So when I asked the question, a lot of women in the room didn't say anything because you have a nice little vagina. But one of you... has a thunder tunnel. 